Right guys, Gaffs and Gaffs is back again with the explanation to Monkey in the Middle. Before I go any further, I had a comment on the ESP trick I showed you with the 40 different symbols. Somebody wanted to know if you could do that with a regular deck and if you haven't been watching my channel over the past two years you will have seen, well if you had have watched my channel, you will have seen that same principle with the magnets in several different tricks so yes you can use a regular deck all you need to do is pick a, a particular force card one of mine was the three of clubs i think and have every sixth card the three of clubs um, you can have a predicted three of clubs from a different colored deck if you want show them this card ask them to give you a number Deal down to that number and it will be the three of clubs. So yes, you can use a regular deck. It would just be every sixth card would be a duplicate. Um, I don't know whether I had another question. Oh, somebody said about the magnets. They weren't quite sure how that all works. So yes, I will do you a proper video on how the mechanics of the magnets work. But this is the reveal to Monkey in the Middle. This is obviously a gimmicked card trick because it uses a gimmick. Which one of these is the gimmick is this one because this is actually two cards. Um, this is, so the, the trick itself uses three cards. These two cards are exactly the same. The holes are punched perfectly aligned. So when they stick together, they will look like one card. But this card, this one square inch, I don't know if you can see it on certain lights, you can see something there. I've put a little inch square I've sprayed it with this restickable glue. This is photo mount restickable glue. I've used restickable glue rather than roughing balm or rough and smooth spray just so that it gives you a good firm um, adhesion. This, these cards are stuck together sometimes with the roughing balm or the rough and smooth spray. There is a still a chance of revealing the fact you've got three cards and not two cards. So I went down the roughing bar, the, the photo mount route this is available most stationers. Quite expensive, it's about 10 quid for this small can. But I've got a bit just here, which is just enough to stick the cards together, but not enough that I cannot separate them if I need to. So there's a little bit of double um, restickable glue just here. So these two cards will stick together and these will be either in your sleeve or just down the cellophane of your box. And the third card, this will simply sit on the bottom of the deck. And you can put all this into the box. Right, let me just show you a crazy trick, man. This is awesome, you're gonna love it. You could present the two blank cards. Now you can show these front and back. In the real world, they probably won't notice this bit of double stick here. But if they were around this way, um, this bit would be hidden by this card. So you can show two blank cards. Place those aside, reach into the deck, pull out the cards, making sure not to flash you've got this one on the bottom. I just did a simple Hindu shuffle but I just pulled cards from about the centre and shuffled them. Spectator's got a, a free choice of any card, so let's say they want this one. Why I say to get these cards signed is because when they see this card appear between these two cards, I don't want them to think you've got a duplicate, so if they sign this, it's, there's no doubt it's the same card and while they're signing this you can do the dirty work which is get a little pinky pull down on that very bottom card turn it into a thumb break so you're in this position you're going to swing cut the top portion of cards putting these two cards together and now what you've got you've got your other card on the top of this packet with a break above it so when they give you this signed card back, you can give the deck a little tap so it looks like it's going somewhere centre. And all you're going to do is place it above the gimmick. When you push it in, push down, catch a break like this and just double undercut everything back to the top. So now the position should be this is their card directly above the other gimmick card. You will now introduce these two cards, which you can freely show. You can move these around. You'll place one on top of the deck. Show them the other one. Place this on top of the deck. And while you're squaring up the deck like this, just apply a bit of pressure with this finger to stick these two top cards. 
And now you can go through the process saying, right, with a magical wave, your card will rise, rise up through the deck. Not only will it rise up through the deck, it will rise up and between the two blank cards. I know it's hard to believe, but all you need to do now is spread. You can be quite free, fair with the spread. These two cards are stuck together, so you can show this as one card. Two cards and nestled in between is your signed five of spades. Now, why I went down the rough, um, the photo mount spray route is because you can be completely free with these cards. Now, these are stuck together. You could drop these on the table. They are not going to separate. So that's how I did it, guys. You just need to find yourself a decent hole punch. Um, you could use double sided stick tape, but there is a chance using blanks it will be visible. You could use roughing balm or rough and smooth spray. I have in the past used rough and smooth spray and roughing balm, but it's still not quite as fair as this way because you can be really completely free and open with this card. You can throw them down, they won't separate. So, like I say, these are for sale. Um, it's not an expensive little packet trick, it does get a fantastic reaction. So if anybody is interested, shoot me an email and we can sort it out. So that is how you do monkey in the middle. Comment, subscribe, like guys for more reveals. Cheers.